Korea Aerospace Industries KAI has presented a new concept of its KUH-1 Utility Helicopters Heavily Armed version for the international market. The KUH-1E, an export variant of a troop-carrying Syrian helicopter, was unveiled at the Seoul International Aerospace and Defense Exhibition ADEX. The KUH-1E has been in development for four years to meet the requirements of foreign customer nations. A spokesman for KAI told the KUH-1E mock-up on display features a weapons mount equipped with rockets, missiles and the gun pod. Stub wings mounted forward of the door can carry pods for domestically built 2.75-inch rockets, infrared homing air-to-air -air missiles and either Hellfire or Spike anti-tank missiles. The attack version is also fitted with the Garmin G3000, a large touch screen glass integrated avionics system. It can also be equipped with TACS-2, the newest version of traffic collision avoidance systems. The helicopter's nose features a three-dimensional weather radar, according to KAI. The helicopter has a maximum takeoff weight of 8,709 kg. Indigenous 155mm Danish towed gun system is under induction with Indian Army. The gun system is going to qualitatively improve the firepower of Indian artillery and is also expected to make way for the private sector gun manufacturing companies. Indian Army has placed an order for a total of 114 Danish guns with the Ordnance Factory Board. The guns will be deployed along the Pakistan and China frontiers. These are being under production at the Jabalpur-based gun carriage factory at a cost of $2 million. The indigenous gun, towed and self-propelled mode has undergone extensive trials in extreme weather conditions as well as difficult terrains across the country. The guns will come with almost 85% indigenous material has a range of 38 kilometers. The indigenous gun comes with inertial navigation-based sighting system. It has an advanced day and night direct firing system. It has onboard ballistic computation. Mechanically it has been upgraded to fire NATO standard 155 millimeters ammunition. It is also compatible with other kinds of ammunition. It comes with a self-propulsion unit and this is for the gun to be self-deployed in mountainous terrains. The gun has been upgraded electronically which helps in enhancing firing accuracies. The induction of this type of gun is part of the Indian Army's effort to replace field guns of caliber such as 105mm and 120mm. The second edition of bilateral annual military exercise Dharma Guardian 2019 between Indian and Japanese Army concluded at Counterinsurgency and Jungle Warfare School, Mizram. The Japanese contingent was represented by 34th Infantry Regiment, 1st Division of Japanese Ground Self-Defense Forces, while the Indian side is represented by a battalion of the Dogger Regiment. 25 soldiers from each battalion are participating in this joint exercise. As part of the exercise, important lectures, demonstrations and drills related to counter-insurgency and counter-terrorism operations were conducted. Both the armies also shared their valuable experiences encountering such situations as also refined drills and procedures for joint operations. The exercise culminated with a 72 hours validation phase which tested the skills of soldiers in conducting joint operations in a counter-terrorism scenario. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you like the channel, and want to support, please support on Patreon or PayPal. The details are given below in the description.